and we need to be more clinical. But in terms of the team I saw, it was the team that I want to see. You know, West Ham it wasn't. Probably the one game this season where we've been below par in the in the basics. Um, and today was completely the team we want again, and I thought we played really well whole game. Are you injured again, or is it too early to say? It doesn't seem too bad in there, so I, um, I'm presuming no, he's all right. Are you actually happy to see you committing a few fouls tonight after West Ham? Yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was an easy element of my team talk in between game was to, to, to state the fact of no fouls, which kind of summed up our game at the weekend, which again has been the pretty much the opposite of how we've been all season. The reason we've got credit is because of our performances and the energy and the urgency and how we want to play. A lot of speed in that game and uh, that came away at West Ham, which we, we, we must accept that because it can happen and uh, it was a nice little lesson for us and the only thing then was a reaction. Today we were back to, to what we are. Tammy, Tammy coming back makes a big difference up front. Yeah, I mean, Tammy at the moment is Tammy, he's, but he's a striker that's at the, near the top of the goal scoring charts in the league. Um, is showing his all-round game, which stretches defences, starts our press. Um, he's a personality that is growing in our dressing room every day with his enthusiasm and his will to win. Uh, and of course, if a player's on such a good run, then they come out the team, it's normal that you can miss them. And today, he came straight back in as he left off. Right, um, Dean Smith is um, in awe of Angola Kante. Um, is that the most sort of, in fact, he's battling best you've seen from his? I mean, he's 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 generally pretty much always good. Uh, I thought that from afar. We had to give him a bit of time with his injury this year. He's had a tough start to it, but uh, he's all around game. And there's not much you need to say to Angolo, he, he just knows how to play uh, the midfield role and I thought the balance between him and Kovacic today was great. His ability to win the ball uh, and at a high intensity to leave areas to win it back and then recover into areas but then also have quality on the ball is is what's given him this this tag of being you know, an outstanding playing world football for the last four or so seasons. So. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure to have him in my squad. Frank, he didn't score tonight, but it was really dangerous again. Mm. How impressed have you been with how often he's getting into dangerous areas now? Yeah, yeah, really impressed. I, I think he's playing really well since he got, got himself in the team. Um, at Burnley, he gets his goals, he's carried on with the form he's scoring. Um, he can score more. I think well, what we've got a player in Christian is, is someone that's really exciting us, but when you see this type of player, um, I think over the last in the modern days you see them and you see their quality and then all of a sudden you see that there's another level which is goals and absolute assists and I think he's got all the abilities to go on to that extra level which is the top level of, of world football but at the minute he's, he's doing really well and I, hopefully that will be the next part of the progression. Frank, it was uh, Mason's first goal for a while, do you think that was him maybe back to his best after so long without <coughs> work? I, I don't think Mason should be measured solely on goals and uh, you know we had an international break we had a um, couple of games where he hasn't started the game so it's um, it's not fair to look at it simply as that but goals are part of his game but I thought his all-round game in the second half was what we would expect of him because it wasn't just the goal it was the threat that he had from the edge of the box his link up and he's winning the ball back in high areas which is his game so I thought he had a really good second half. Frank would you set Tammy a goals target for the league? No, no, I, I don't think I need to. He's a hungry boy. Uh, I never set targets. It's, it's, it's stupid from jumping too much into the future. No fronts. All you would say is every game as they come, game after game, can you can you score? Can you be hungry? What can you do for the team? The minute he's doing it and he's scoring goals. What did, what did John say to you at the end? Uh, n n nothing much special. Just you know, it was uh, well done, and uh, he had his moment on the pitch. It's difficult when you come back. Uh, I, I did it last year to a club that you feel so much for, and, and vice versa, as, as they are with John. Um, and you're working, and you're part of another team, and part of another club. He's respectful of Aston Villa, I know that. So it wasn't, you know, the, a massive celebration time, but of course the respect both ways is huge. Okay, last two. You're about a third of the way through the season now. How do you assess what Chelsea are compared to what you were hoping for at the start of the season, and what you still think you need to do at this point? Well, I'm happy, but I want more. Um, I think we've had a pretty good start um, because a lot of people maybe expected otherwise but I think we've done pretty well but I, ex I want more all the time and I think we uh, the last week has been a, a good example of that for us and for, for me and for us because I saw us go to Manchester City and trade with them like a big team that was in and around that level then I saw us play against West Ham like a team that's, that's not that 
and and you're going to lose games in the Premier League. And then I saw a, re- a recovery today to back to where we were. So that shows me, I think, that we are have real potential of being to get into where we want to be. But we also have to be aware that there might be little tough bumps and, and moments across the road that we're going to have to overcome because we're young, because we're slightly transitional. Um, and that's that will only um, show itself as we go along. And then the important thing in between all that is that we keep working to improve every day. Frank, nice one then, Matt. Has Loftus Cheek had a setback? He's had a few setback, uh, setbacks over the last two months. Um, not He hasn't had a new one, but it's not flying along as much as we would want and it's not for the want to try and for everybody uh, Ruben of course himself nothing worse than being injured but at the moment we're no closer to him being fit OK thank when you When you say no closer where do you even have a time no. No. no OK thanks a lot guys right, Cheers Thank you, thank you. Cheers Cheers <coughs> Brian You're right.